I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. This one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That makes it second and eight. He's got it with room to run. He's pushed out of bounds right around the 38-yard line. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Now he's scrambling. He gets hit out of bounds at the 43-yard line. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. Fires out to his wideout, and they make the stop at the 41. Gets it, he's in space. And down he goes at about the 33-yard line. That play is good for eight yards and a first down. This quarterback still hasn't missed a receiver on this drive. From the 33-yard line, it's first down. He's going to try and scramble, and he's going to be sacked. Perfect time to call the blitz. He took a bit of a chance, but it paid off by the linebacker being able to get through there, shoot the gap, and get to the quarterback. Scrambling around. He can run inside the 10, and he's finally knocked out of bounds at the five-yard line. What a run by the quarterback. Boy, this guy is dangerous. He can hurt you by running or throwing. There you can see how talented he is as a runner. Play breaks down. He didn't panic or get flustered. He just tucks it in. Touchdown, Ohio State. He makes the PAT. So a nine play, 74 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Ohio State is lining up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cornhuskers and their coaching staff are just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. That'll make it second and inches. And he tackles him hard at the 37 yard line. Gain of two on the play. First down. Let's go! Easy, easy! Tackled after a decent pickup. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. He's on the run. Brought down at the 49-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Steps 
It's out of bounds. Right around the 46-yard line. From their own 46-yard line. Second down. Tries to buy some time. And he can't get away from the pressure. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. They can't hear a thing down there. Passes it and it's picked out of the sky. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. Ohio State is up seven. Run and he's brought down. That's a game seven on the way. That makes it second and two. And they get nice yardage on that run. Got room to run up the middle for a nice game. And he carries the ball for a nice game. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong, the offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive, attack, do some things to change it up, take some risks. He put the ball in there perfectly that time. And let me tell you, this kid has impressed me all day with the touch on his passes. That's a good looking throw there. He's tackled at the three. That brings him second and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Roger, Roger. Mike three. Mike three. Touchdown, Buckeye. his second touchdown of the day. Yeah, he has a lot of freedom to make plays like that, and he can do it because of his athletic ability. The coaches recognize that, and it's proven to be successful. And he adds the extra point. So a seven-play, 48-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart up. It can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Buckeyes really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I would be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. That makes it first and ten. ten. Quick strike to the back, no good. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. From their own 35-yard line, second down. Tackle made at the 37. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. 
He lets it fly. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Wilson, the return man. Wilson takes it to 25, brought down at the 34-yard line. The Buckeyes really could have uh, overlooked this team today, I think, very easily, but they haven't done that so far. No, you can't take anybody too lightly, and they've obviously not done that. They come out of the gate today and really put a lot of points up on the board. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. He's taken down at the 46. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. That's a game of eight on the play. That makes Mike it second three. and two. Mike three. Damn. Next in. As we expected coming into this game, this one appears to be under control. 14-0, Ohio State. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. quickly and he's got his man that's a great tackle at the 49 that makes it 37 third down and they need to get it inside the 44 Back's got it on the quick throw. Tackle at the 23-yard line. He's tackled at the 12-yard line. Touchdown, Bucks! <laughs> and he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. No matter how much people want to talk about points and offense, I still think that the best offense is a great defense. When you put a zero up there, it makes it pretty easy on your own offense to go out there and win the game. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. And he's taken down right around the 34. That brings up second and one. He scrambles. And he's level at the 39 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Run up the middle. That's a game of six on the play. Get out, get out, get out. That will make it second and four. Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. Buffalo, Buffalo. And now he's got room to run. He's brought down in the open field. That's a game of nine on the play. First down. And 
he'll bring him down behind the line. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. From midfield, it's second down. And they make the stop at the 29. Let's give this quarterback a lot of credit. He recognized the man coverage. And guys, I'm going to tell you something. He probably knew he was going to go to the post before the ball was even snapped. Well done. He's got an opening. He fights forward to about the 26. He makes it to the 18-yard line. That makes it first and ten. The 10, big play, and it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Gets to about the five-yard line. Touchdown, Nebraska! Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. A 12-play, 76-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. So our score, 21-7. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And down he goes at the 33. They got to him before he could get back to the line. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Caught by the sophomore, brought down around the 43-yard line. He's on the run. Dives for extra yardage. Throws it away. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. 
He's scrambling, and he's going to come up with a sack. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. And this play is number eight on the drive. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. He heaves it deep. And that's his receiver who's wide open. Touchdown! Huge play! He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was an eight-play, 78-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 28-7. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Nebraska's offense is so predicated on what this wide receiver does, and now when you consider that we've got a couple of quarters left they've got to change the complexion of the game a little bit and they're going to have to do it with somebody else i think this is really where a coaching staff gets challenged because for five or six days you prep and you look at a lot of film and you kind of come into a game by the time saturday rolls around and you have a good idea of how you want to attack a defense and then you go out there and it's not working you have to show an ability as a coaching staff to go back and look at that drawing board and eliminate some things and maybe add some things and be able to try to make the adjustments you need to to give your team a chance to win in the second half. Nebraska will have one timeout remaining. On the ball, on the ball, on the ball. From their own 46-yard line. First down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Swings it out there incomplete. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. Scrambling around, and they got him. Fires it quickly. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. Wilson awaiting the return. He fields it at the 17. He's out of bounds at the 25. Ohio State's been playing like a well-oiled machine in this first half. And Kirk, are we going to see more of the same in the second? Well, I think as long as they can maintain the proper frame of mind, I think they've got a great shot to be able to pull away and win this game decisively. But the challenge for them will be listening to their coaches at halftime and continuing to play with that same aggressive attitude that they played with in the first half. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. We've played a half of football here. The Buckeyes with a three-touchdown advantage. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Coaches get big contracts for winning championships, but you know, I think maybe they really earned their money in a game like this. When you see a team perform like this, leave no doubt, and look like, uh, look like that they're playing to the level that they're capable of playing. Yeah, and, and a lot of times, these are the games that cost you championships. If you don't take care of them, sometimes you come out flat, you see the big upset, down the road, you're comparing losses and, and you're out of the mix because you lost to a team that you should have absolutely annihilated. So definitely kudos to the coaching staff for keeping everybody stepping in unison, keeping everybody on the same page, keeping everybody motivated. It's not easy. These are still 18, 19, 20-year-old kids that sometimes lose focus. Believe it or not, there are girls in class and other things for them to for them to focus on. So great job by the coaching staff getting their boys ready to play. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. 
That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Slings it. He's pushed out of bounds at the 49-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Now he tries to buy some time. He gets sacked on the play. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled at about the 49. Wilson will be the return man. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. On the ground, up the middle. Gets out to about the 21. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back, and he tackles him hard at the 29 yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll make it third and one. He's into the open field. Makes it out to about the 39. On the ground with a tailback. Tackled after a decent pickup. Outside for a nice game. That's good for a game. That makes it first and ten. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Brought down. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. It's the ninth play of the drive. That makes it second and ten. They bring him down in the backfield. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. And here's another third down. Check, 
Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down at the 24. Makes it to the 22-yard line. They get nice yardage on that run. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Bring him down right around the two yard line. He's tackled at the four. Loss of two yards on the play. That makes it third and three. So again, a third down as the offense lines up. Touchdown, Buckeyes! He's got a nose for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. He makes the PAT. Ohio State lines up for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. The Cornhuskers are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for him. Rose pulls it in first down and he's knocked out of bounds. Gain of 21 yards. That makes it first and ten. Watch two. Watch the screen. Yes. Now he's scrambling. They'll make the sack. That's a way to hit. Lots of six yards on the ball. That'll make it second and nine. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Ready! And he's taken down at the 35. the stop at about the 43 yard line i know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big gain but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down wilson takes it at the 16 they'll bring him down at the 21 yard line that's three down and one to go the buckeyes with a huge lead Not sure there's any hope for a comeback here in the fourth quarter, but Kirk and I are praying. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. 
Tackle made right around the 22-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 22. Ohio State up by a big margin. He scrambled. They bring him down. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. From their own 19-yard line, third down. Nice play across the middle. That's a great tackle at the 26-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game of five on the way. That brings him second and five. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. There's a strike complete. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. Well, he caught it, but it's almost no yards gain, and now it's fourth down. Give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. And now he's got room to run. Brought down at the 34. Gain of eight yards. First down. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That makes it 37. Under pressure, and he's set. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Folks, fourth down again, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Less than three minutes in the game. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play, but, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injury. Tackle at the 46. From their own 46-yard line. First down. And off up the middle, and he's stuffed. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Zero, zero, Mike Green. Yeah, black eighty. He's at the forty. Gets out to around the thirty-two. the 32-yard line. It's first down. He finds
fights forward to about the 30. That makes it second in the head. In your face. Nebraska staff and really this entire team I'm sure is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.